Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back. I know the rivals are here, gathering in all their groups, flocking to my misery, my mayhem. I didn't do the Everton review last week. Not because I was ducking, just because I just didn't have the energy. I, I already ran it on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Today, today, I was blessed by the high heavens of the football community. They put this game on at three o'clock, not televised in the UK. Do you know how thankful I was? I was counting my lucky stars that I wouldn't have to watch this team. As I said, I'm mentally checked out. I'm only here for the bag. <laughs> it's not a big one. I don't want to watch this team. I don't want to watch them no more. I'm done. I've been begging. It's like Jaden Smith in The Karate Kid. I want to go home. I want to go home. And Chelsea are like Will, just forcing me to be here. Forcing me to talk on this shit. Week in, week out. I want the season done. No and void. We had cases months ago. But it's still a pandemic. End this shit. But yet we're still here talking about Chelsea. I'm so disconnected. So, so done. This team, when they went 2-0 up, Lukaku, hats off to you. Who would know? Who would think that Lukaku would be the one bringing me joy? This brother got two goals today. He actually, he actually stood up. We had a little moment. Connor Cody had a brain fart. We hit them immediately. And that's what we got to do more often. That's what Liverpool do. More transitions. More, more counter press. More forcing mistakes, forcing errors. You don't have to be a counter-attacking team to take advantage of space. You just have to be quick when you do get the ball back. When the other team is no longer in defensive shape, in structure, not set. Now, Man City, of course, they're, they're a freak of nature. They tend to just pass teams to death. But most teams, most teams, you have, what, 58, 55, 60% possession. When you have the other 40 for the others, when you win it back, be quick. Transition. That's space to take advantage of. That's something that forwards would thrive on. And Lukaku is a wonderful finish. He obviously took his penalty well after winning the foul. No Jorginho on the pitch, so he took it. Happy for him. Um, but Lord, Lord knows. Lord have mercy. As soon as we conceded, I knew what was going to happen. If you saw me on the Saturday football show, you saw a person that didn't really get too high or too low with the goals that were going in today. Because, A, spoilers, I already saw the news, the goal flash and a goal alert before the goals went in. But, but more, more so because, like I said, the season's just, we're just petering to the finish line. We're just falling to the finish line. Falling on our face, in fact. And I already knew this team were going to not do this style. They're not going to do this in a stylish manner. They were going to crawl to third or crawl to fourth. God knows if we actually finish fourth, but whatever. Um... But I actually did think we'd beat Wolves, a team that had lost three on the bounce in a row. A team not really playing for anything. Leeds now at Ellen Road on Wednesday. That's the game that I'm slightly more worried about because they're actually fighting for something. As I said to you, Man United away will be easier than Everton away. And it proved to be. It proved to be. These relegation teams right now are causing problems. They're fighting for their lives. A couple games left of the season. And Thomas Tuchel, the team... They got to take responsibility. Tuchel, I don't understand why he didn't play Trevor Chaloba today. Trevor Chaloba, Chaloba will be here next season. He's committed to the club. He wants to be here. There's many others that don't fall into that category and that bracket. They have signed pre-contracts to go elsewhere. Their heads are now suddenly in the sand. Suddenly now Rudiger and Christensen, uh, you know, Aspie, these players don't really play to the same level they were playing at when our defence was flourishing because maybe they have already checked out like me. Why I've checked out is because the team's checked out. It's not because I'm ungrateful, we're third. We're not going into liquidation. I know you wanted us to. We got a new owner, and that did keep my spirits high until about, I don't know, five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm still really happy, actually. I'm not really, not really, dis I'm not really angry, so to speak. I'm more just, like I said, disinterested. I'm happy, though, we got a new owner. I'm glad he was in the stand to see this today with his shades on. I'm really happy. Um... Because now he knows the job and the work that needs to be done. He knows just what the level of extent is of how big the problem is. And Man United's rebuild has been highly advertised, highly glamorised in the media. And it's been covered plenty. Now I hope Chelsea's rebuild will get the same airtime. Because 
<laughs> we really, we really have been showing up this season just how much, how much we got to sort out. And I think whenever you win a trophy like the Champions League, it's impossible not to get overexcited. In fact, if you didn't, I'd question if you're a football fan, if you're even carrying feelings within your heart. When you win a Champions League, you think that you're the best to ever do it. You think that you're the best in the world. You think you're, you're Brazil of the 70s. And you should, because it's the Champions League. It puts people in tears for happy or for sad. This man knows all about that. So don't smirk, because you know you want that Champions League more than anybody. So I don't know. I'd rather get free Premier League. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could keep lying to yourself. We'll come to you in a minute on the roundabout tonight. But the Champions League, it also papers over cracks at board level and at fan level. Fan level is fine because we ain't in charge. We don't run things. We just give our opinions and go home. But the board, it covered the cracks. They thought they were better than we are. We ain't. We ain't that team. And you only have to look at where we finished in the last four or five seasons in the Premier League and how many points we've collected and con con conducted ourselves with. And you, you know our level. So we're currently sitting on similar points as to what we've accumulated previously. And now we know why. For days like this. For days like this. Our home record is shocking. I think I saw something disgusting like 48% win ratio. I don't know what's going on there. Our away record is much better. Stanford Bridge, the atmosphere, it's not that great. You know what I'm saying? I stopped getting free tickets because we ain't got no sponsor. It's long. It's a long day. I don't really know where I'm going with this video and I'm not really here to review the game because at the end of the day, you saw what happened. We conceded two goals. We capitulated once again. The substitutions were confusing. I don't know why Malang Sar is on the pitch. I don't know. You tell me at home. Tell me in the comments. Why is Malang Sar coming on? Why? Why is Trevor not starting? Why not? Aspie's going to Barcelona. Why can't Trevor start? Gave him so much trust and faith earlier on the season. Why not? We know the players. I don't need to come tell you now which players need to leave. I already done told you that. You know this. You know the list is so big. In fact, sometimes I shorten the list just because I would like to remain sensible. Not because I want to shorten it, because I have to. But I'm going to just leave all of my discontent and, you know, disconnection with the team right now. Dismay. Dismay. I'm going to leave all of that to the side. We drew with Wolves, we move. I know the rivals want tears. I know you would like me to dash shit. It ain't going to happen. That comes when you finish fifth. Of course. Three games left. <laughs> like I said we move on to the next game I don't need to tell you what the problems are the profiles the players that we need the positions that really do need serious serious attention but today was the first day of well we're not quite there Premier League still have to make their checks but it's good to have a new owner maybe they can open the mega store soon so I'm still happy about that um, Cup final? God help us all Cup final? God help us all I don't want to talk about the cup final Let's just let's just leave that. What did Pep say? Let's just leave that till next week. Are you excited? More than you believe. More than you can ever believe. More than you can believe. I am so I am so happy. I am so so happy. Real question: Are you nervous? More than you can believe. More than you, more, more than you can ever believe. More than you. More than you can believe. Wow. So happy. I am so so happy. So so the rivals that came to watch me today, I am so happy. More than you can believe. <laughs> Shout out Lukaku. I ain't do that much here. But Boy! <laughs> fucking hell. First time this season. Two goals. Well done. I'm not going to get into the statistics of how many goals this year, in this calendar year, but it doesn't matter. Today, he was good. Credit where it's due. That's why he scored more. Credit, credit where it's due. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to be that guy. That's right. Today, you did good. Today, you deserve to win. Kovacic, couple, couple of players. At least, you, know, you know the midfield balance. I don't need to get into, you, into this and tell you that Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Cover as a pivot don't work in terms of defensively. I don't need to come and tell you that we don't have no DM today, again, because Jorginho and Kove, uh, Kante couldn't play, and Kante in a DM. I don't need to tell you these things. You know these things. you smart. you smart cookies. That's why I like you lot. But um, you listen, everybody, everybody rest up, stay safe, smash up the icons, let me know what your thoughts are, and um, I will see you. I said stay safe. You know. Stay safe. After this, a football game. The streets ain't safe. <laughs> The streets ain't safe. And I can't even celebrate Man United. This is crazy. Because uh -uh. I ain't shameless. We got bigger problems to fish. Fish to fry over here. It's crazy. Fish to fry. Fish to fry. Fry the fish. Fry the fish. Fry the fish. Fry the fritters. I like fritters. Yeah, fritters are great. Solid. Goodbye. <laughs>